In this video, I want to show you how to animate now that we've done the frame by frame, how to animate uh, using a motion tween. So I'm going to create a new layer. And uh, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to rename this layer down below as my frame by frame. And then this one's going to be my tween layer. There's a difference obviously between frame by frame and tween. Um, and so while I'm on this layer, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new circle. Let's see, I'm going to make it, okay, blue, that's fine. Okay, so I make a new circle. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and in order for this, in order for me to make this into a tween, I have to do something with this object. You'll notice that this object right now, like when I click on it, has all these little dots in it. Um, so I need to actually convert this into uh, a full object by uh, converting to symbol. And symbols are really uh, nice and cool and helpful. Um, and uh, you know I'll explain more about that later. But so when I bring up the convert to symbol option, I'm just going to call this um, ball tween. And then I have an option here for what type I want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose graphic. It doesn't really matter for this particular project. There is a difference between all three, but uh, for this particular project, we're going to choose graphic. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and you'll notice now it doesn't have the little dots in it. It now has this little blue box that goes around it. So I'm going to zoom back out so I can see the bottom here. And now what I can do is I'm just going to right click and create motion tween. I can right click on the object or I can even right click down here in the timeline on that layer and create motion tween. Now, it doesn't look like a lot changed. The color of this changed a little bit but that's because I have the onion skinning on um, and so it's showing me where it's going um, and where it came from just like it did in over here. So I need to, I'm going to go to the very end of my timeline here, my 24 frames. I'm going to click on this object and I'm just going to click and drag it down so it touches the bottom. Okay, So all I did was click and drag it down. Well now if we were to play this through, we can actually see that it just moves down in a smooth line. Now, there's a problem though. Obviously I'm trying to get this to bounce and so I need to uh, I need to do something to this so that it actually works better for me. And you can see, look look at all the different frames that it made, um, showing me that basically it's, it's able to go this frame by frame. Um, but I didn't have to create each frame, it just did it for me. Okay, well, now we're going to double click on this blue line. So once you get that object, I'm going to turn onions getting off for a second. Once you get it, to go in a straight line. So again, I should have a circle here at the very beginning of my timeline, and then I should have a diamond shape at the very end of my timeline here, and that is showing me that it's starting up here, and it's there's some sort of change that's happening at the bottom. So I told it at the bottom, or I told it at the very end of this to be at the bottom of the screen. So now what we're going to do is double click on this and it's going to open up into this little uh, motion editor is what this is called. So at this point you'll see there's an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Well the x-coordinate doesn't change. It's staying on the same plane here. Um, it's not moving left or right. But the y-coordinate does change and so that's the one that we want to click on because we want to do something with this y. So I'm going to click on the y down here and then I'm going to come down and click on Add Ease. This is one of the cool things about... Oh, let me make that so you can see that a little bit better. So Add Ease. And then I'm gonna, there's a bunch of different easing options that I have. I'm going to go to Bounce and Spring. I'm going to click on Bounce In. And then it has easing, so I could have this be a certain number of times. So 10 um, is... A little crazy probably but let me show you what it does now as I get out of this um, so come to the beginning oh let's make my 
timeline here. So you can see that the ball is bouncing multiple times and I didn't have to do anything. I just clicked on that little button, changed it to bounce in and uh, adjusted this uh, a little bit. So if I wanted it to feel like it was really airy, I could change this easing to two. Okay, and then come back up here on the timeline. That sort of drops kind of very gradually, which might not be quite what we want. So maybe I go to a three. Anyways, I can keep playing with the settings here. Okay, it's being jumpy for some reason. That's weird. See if I get out of it, if that will help. But you can see that I basically added a bounce without having to do much to it. Now, it doesn't look quite like this one. And I could make some changes with my uh, bounce on some of these eases. So if I go through, I can try and you know look at some of these stop and start, bounce and spring. There are other eases. I could do a custom ease. I could actually put points on here um, and, and basically do it myself. Um, you know, make some, make my own bounce that's happening. And so I'm just affecting right now the Y coordinate. So it's just, so I can kind of play with that. I've got some, some cool features available to me. Well, that didn't take me very long. Now it probably doesn't look quite as good right now. Right, because it's not doing the bounce thing that I did over here on the frame by frame. But um, I, I can easily add some motion in. So you can see there's a difference between the tween, which the computer basically takes care of a lot of it for me, and the frame by frame where I have a lot more control. Um, in another video, I'll show how to like do squash and stretch with this um, because it's a little more complicated when you're doing it with the uh, tween as opposed to the frame by frame. But now we've made that second ball the tweened animation for the bouncing ball.